I think I might have finally found my new favorite everyday carry backpack. Stay tuned and let's take a look at the features of this backpack made by Vertex. I don't know if you guys are like me or not, but it seems like with all the options that are out there today with the backpacks that are being made, it's just very difficult to find a good quality everyday carry backpack uh, that suits your needs, that's tailored to fit your everyday lifestyle and is able to carry all the gear that you want to carry day in and day out. For me, I uh, recently got a new job, so I do have to carry a backpack every single day for my job. So that allowed me to you know, focus on definitely needing something with a laptop sleeve in it. And I also wanted something that was a little more focused on the tactical side, but also being discreet. And that's why I chose this Vertex uh, Ready Pack 2.0. This is the newest version of the Vertex EDC Ready Pack. This one, like I mentioned, is the 2.0. And what I want to do here today is just kind of dig in, show you guys what I have packed in there but mainly just a quick video to show you guys what this back, backpack consists of, kind of the outlay of the pockets, the design, and just the construction of the overall backpack. I've only been using this for probably four weeks now probably, so I'm still making changes every day to it. It seems like just kind of getting things tailored, you know, um, tailored to my fit, how I want to pack things in there, and what I want to carry and what I don't want to carry. But from my use with it so far, I'm extremely pleased with it. Whenever I first got it out of the uh, box that it came in, I ordered it directly from Amazon. I'll make this real easy for you guys. I'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can click on that. But whenever I opened the box that Amazon sent it in, I was a little concerned because to me it felt like it was going to be a little bit too small. But after using it for four or so weeks now, uh, it's definitely looks a little more small on the outside, but once you start digging into the inside, opening up the pockets and the zippers, uh, you'll find that it's able to, you know, pack some quite a bit of stuff in there very easily. So we'll just move right along now. We'll take a look, give you a better close-up view here and go through some of the pockets and just show you the kind of the outlay and what I have packed inside here. So this Vertex Ready Pack 2.0 is 19 inches high. It's 11 inches wide and then it's eight and a half inches deep. It has YKK zippers all throughout, and we'll get right in here and show you the admin pouch first. Like I say, I don't have this fully loaded out yet. I've been changing it pretty much day to day, uh, but you'll notice here it has these nice internal YKK zippers, and this is one of the upgrades that they've made uh, from the first version that they did. They call this abrasion resistant mesh, so you can kind of see inside of here to visually locate what's inside your pockets, but it's still pretty durable mesh, so it's not gonna get things caught on it. Uh, you know, paper clips, knives, whatever it might be to where it's gonna rip this real easily. Pretty good quality there. Uh, this, I just took a, a lanyard that I made with a little buckle on the end. That way if I wanna clip some keys on it, I've got some work keys here that I carry that I don't carry on my keychain every day. I can just take these, clip that there, and have them nice, safe, and secure. So we got that. In this pocket, I usually just stuff some business cards in here for work, or I really like those uh, flavored water bottle squirts. Uh, you know, adds flavor to your water. So I'll just stick one of those in there, pull that out at work, and use it whenever I need it. Uh, just a bunch of various pins and markers over here. And that's all that I have in there for now. Down here, there's a nice strip of Velcro where you can put, you know, a name badge. I just have this uh, black and silver American flag patch on it. But whatever morale patches you want to use, you know, you can slap one right there if you choose to. These water bottle holders on this side are very nice. One thing that I do wish they would have made it a little bit different is the elasticity band, the buckle that kind of fastens it down is on the inside. Hopefully you guys can see that, but right there, you know, this is your hasp or buckle right here where your bungee pulls through it. They put it on the inside, so that's a little bit awkward, but once you get it set where you need to, um, you know, you don't really need to mess with it a whole lot, so it's really not that big of a deal, but it's just a little bit different. 
I guess they probably did it so there's not much hanging out here off the side, but that's just my guess. Uh, you can see it does fit so a pretty decent sized water bottle. This is just a, a life straw, kind of like a Nalgene bottle. And it fits in there very easily. I've had cases where I've used backpacks and the water bottle holsters or holders are just plain worthless. You can't fit anything in there. I have had backpacks in the past where you know the water bottle holders are just plain worthless. I've had them cases where you can't even put just a plain bottle of water in them for some reason. Just very awkwardly built and can't fit anything in it, but these are nice. Uh, you can see these slide right in and out. The other side, right now, I'm just carrying a headlamp made by Petzl. Uh, this comes out, you know, you can strap it on your head or you can use it as kind of like a little lantern type thing. Different modes. So pretty nice and handy to have there. And then moving to the second pouch. This is a pretty handy pouch here. Uh, you'll notice up here this Molly system and it's Velcro faced as well. So this is one of the areas where I've kind of been tinkering with a lot. I have had cases, days where I've had just tons of stuff up here. It makes it a little bit top heavy and a little bit awkward digging into it down below, but it's also nice to have the flexibility. You know, this Molly system, I can just take a Gerber. Um, this is a Leatherman actually. You know, just use that hook system, put it right in there. One of my favorite everyday carry flashlights is the Olight S2R Baton 2. Uh, very nice little light to have on hand. Have that with me pretty much everywhere. Down here below, always carry me a brand new sealed up tourniquet. Have that with me. Here is just a Maxpedition goodie pouch. Want to have these with me everywhere. I got one here and got one in the truck. Uh, this has a little bit of everything. Carry a spare mag. Uh, I won't go through all this. You guys have seen these before. But uh, if anybody wants me to do any reviews on these, uh, I got this packed in here pretty tight with a lot of different stuff. So very handy to have these on you at all times. Like I say, I use this backpack for work. Uh, so I want to be able to pack some stuff in there. And on the outside, the appearance uh, looks pretty casual. It doesn't really look too tactical. But as you can see, once you get inside of it, uh, it really opens up opportunities for um, being discreet on the outside, but be able to carry what you want to on the inside. And then down at the bottom, it is stuffed in uh, this monstrous charger for my laptop that I have to carry. I wish they made something a little bit smaller than that. That thing takes up too much room. But that is in there because I do need it. One neat thing about this uh, pouch right here is you can take this flap and you can actually turn it into a stuff sack. So you can put this down inside. And then whenever this is on your back, this is exactly how it's gonna look. You're gonna have access to all this, and then you can kinda of use this as a dump sack. You, know, you can just stuff whatever you need to down in here. <clears throat> Say you're hiking or doing some shooting drills or whatever it might be. Uh, if you don't wanna undo these zippers all the time, just turn it into your stuff sack, and then you can put whatever you need to up here. And same down here, just stuff various items in and take items out. One thing you will find if you get online and look at Vertex is they have the, uh, I believe it's called the Tactigami. Uh, that's the, basically they make a holster, they make a magazine pouch, and then kind of like a multi-purpose tool pouch. Uh, maybe carry magazines or something like that with it. But it's a very flexible system that is actually Velcro. So you can put some of the Tactigami, stu Tactigami stuff right here. Moving on to... I would call it the main compartment. Might be kind of hard to show you guys this one, but fold it open here. Uh, this up here, I just carry a little mini tripod for a GoPro or one of my smaller Canon cameras. Carry that up top, set that off to the side for you. And then you'll see here, that's the little pocket that I put that in. And then it has two other little sleeves as well. 
So you can put maybe a small pocket knife, more pins, markers, highlighters, whatever you need to up here. And then you have more uh, Velcro as well, hook and loop. And another, I'll go ahead and spin this around here. Hopefully we can see that. Another one of those nice uh, abrasion resistant mesh pouches. Right now I just have a calculator stuffed in there. Uh, some sticky notes. A couple more morale patches that I've had off and on. Not really sure if I want to keep using them. And just a little notebook. That's that, flip this back around. So moving on to what's in here, this is kind of like a, an electronics type pouch. Show you here real quick. Not gonna go through all this. I have some different batteries packed in here. Some various chargers, uh, lens, lens brush for my cameras, uh, external battery pack, uh, pins, various things like that. A uh, little notebook for work, just keep notes from customers. Pad of paper. And then back here, this is a 25 liter backpack and this will accommodate a 15 inch laptop. That's a pretty large laptop and it fits in here perfectly. Nice tight pocket, well constructed all throughout, just nothing that I can see that's alarming that's going to be breaking down soon or no signs of threads coming in loose or the zippers all function very well. Very happy with this backpack so far. Uh, another thing that I want to show you is I'll probably get this lingo incorrect but this is just a quick access system. So right here you're going to notice this little black loop that is velcroed down to this. So you would take this, you'll notice right here on the very back another strip of velcro. So you just fasten that down so you can have this closed up and then say you're using this compartment for carrying your sidearm or whatever it might be and you need quick access to it. So you have this little loop up here where you can just stick your finger through. You'll grab a hold of that and then you would just simply pull straight down and that gives you quick access to get in here, get a sidearm out whatever it needs to be. And then when you're not using it, you just take that, Velcro it down, and it's out of the way. And the back side is a big improvement from the first version that they made. This is what they call 3D molded foam. You can see it kind of has the Vertex logo imprinted here on the back, but this allows for good airflow through the back. And then with this foam, uh, the heat just kind of passes through this much easier than just having some cloth against your back, against your t-shirt or whatever you're wearing. This large paddle that is connected to the zipper. So this is for, and I'm not going to demonstrate this, there's videos online, but this is for just quick, quick access, you know, to get in and pull out your sidearm. Carrying the Glock uh, 19. Dealing with the clear weapon. And then if you guys haven't moved to using red dots on your pistols, uh, you guys are missing out. Might want to look into those. Let me know if you guys want me to do a review on that. Uh, running the Trigicon RMR on this one with the uh, Streamlight TLR1. You know, you've got your chest strap here. Very good quality construction on that. I haven't even used it. You can tell it's still all rolled up here in a tight ball and then the same down here for your waist belt um, I really like having a waist belt I don't think this backpack is big enough to justify using a waist belt but you know if you get this loaded out pretty well pretty heavily and you're hiking you know for a good majority of the day then absolutely this would be a good good asset but for what I'm what I'm using it for you know just an everyday carry uh, you know from the truck to the office uh, Whatever it might be uh, it's probably something that I won't use a whole lot of has these loops right here So you can you know take carabiners paracord whatever get creative with it, you know loop things to it uh, Put a compass on here 
uh, strap a flashlight to it, whatever you need to, to, to utilize that with. One thing that I do like here, uh, not only do you have your main carrying handle back here in its normal position, but you have this tab up here, which you can fully pick up the whole backpack with that tab. Your hand just kind of slides right in there. Just a real nice, real nice addition that they've added to this backpack. And then one last thing I want to do for you guys is just to show you guys with this on my back. Uh, I think that helps out because it's really hard to tell looking at pictures online what it's going to look like on a person's back. Just to let you know, I'm 5'10", about 225, maybe 230 pounds. Uh, packing a little extra weight around the belly these days, but that's okay, right? So throw this on the back and we'll show you here what it looks like. Put this chest strap on for you guys, see if I can get that to work. There it is on my back. Sets real nice. Very comfortable with these padded straps. I went ahead and fastened across the chest strap for you. See what it looks like riding up front there. And here's what it looks like on the back. I do have everything out of it right now, but whenever it is full, it doesn't make it stick out too much further than this. And there's what it looks like on the back again. Very comfortable, very good design, very well made product. Like I say, take a look at the link down below. That'll take you right to the backpack. And Amazon always has good deals on these things. So if you guys are in the market for a new EDC backpack, you might take a look at the Vertex line and look at the ReadyPack 2.0. Take a look at the link in the description down below. You guys let me know if you have any questions on this pack. I will be happy to try and answer those for you. I'm here to help you guys out and learn from you guys as well. So any questions, don't hesitate to ask down below. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure and subscribe so you can see future videos. And as always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.